morning, Kansas. Hope you're feeling great this Monday morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alexis Padilla. And I'm Eddie Randall. Jumping right into those 5 o'clock headlines, agriculture is the Sunflower State's largest industry, and there's a labor shortage. A study shows there's anywhere from 5,600 to 16,000 open jobs across the ag industry. Mally Jones joins us in studio this morning. Good morning, Mally. Hey, good morning, guys. Researchers at K-State and the Kansas Department of Agriculture found openings across 72 sectors from growing crops to meat processing. They surveyed ag businesses across Kansas and 60% of them reported being short anywhere from 5% to 60%. They found the shortage is widespread, affecting all types of businesses in multiple parts of the state. One of the researchers, Parker Volgamore, says these high numbers show how important and urgent it is to address address the problem. He says while the labor gap has widened, people have become more aware. Overall, I think businesses and governments are already acting to try and address the labor shortages um, and dialogue on labor and immigration policies and things that we can do to help support this have definitely increased over the last few years. The study shows Kansas could generate $4.1 billion to $11.7 billion if the labor shortage was reduced. I spoke to a business owner who says he's made changes to make up for the manpower. That story coming up at 530. Here for you, Mally Jones, KSN News 3. The Kansas agriculture in industry has a labor shortage. Thousands of jobs in the state are open. KSN's Mally Jones is in studio this morning. And Mally, you talked to a business owner who's made adjustments to combat the shortage issue. Yeah, that's right. The Tiffany Cattle Company is in the eastern part of the state and the owner tells me while they are in better shape than the western part, his company has still made changes to fill the gaps. Sean Tiffany has watched the shortage get worse over his career. Tiffany says in the western part of the state, feed yard owners are competing for labor and in other parts of the state, it's a lack of ability of, of availability for labor. He says they trade in farming equipment for bigger machinery so one employee can get twice as much work done. He says the industry will need to import labor, increase use of technology, and automate certain roles. Agriculture in Kansas is not going to go away just because we don't have labor. We will figure out a way to continue to get the job done with the available labor, with the available technology, and agriculture is going to be thriving in Kansas for years to come.